Okay, this morning is Mother's Day. I'm gonna make white beans and a rabbit, or better known as a rabbit a la nene for my baby. This is the white beans I've started already. I've cut up two bell peppers, two onions, and a little bit of celery. And I've put in this just a uh, thick sliced bacon and uh, some Louisiana seasonings. So if you notice when you look at it, it's looking pretty good. I just now got this going right. It's going to take about four hours for this to go. So um, now I'll go head back into the backyard and in the backyard we have our iron pot. This is a five gallon uh, pot. And this is what we're going to cook our rabbit in today. And over here we have our seasonings that I've already cut. Um, basically we have onions, celery, and bell peppers. It's looking pretty good. Nice fresh cut. The garlic, I'm going to go easy today. I'm just going to get the minced garlic in a jar. We have two cans of Rotel uh, seasoning. It's pretty good stuff. We have uh, some tiger sauce. We have a fifth of Morley, uh, red wine, and then we have our rabbits. Uh, still hadn't taken them out and started prepping them. We have five rabbits that we're going to cook, and um, we're going to get started in a few minutes. And as we get going through the day, we'll, we'll go over it, and I'll uh, show you how it's looking. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brown the rabbit. I'm going to take some olive oil and put olive oil in the pot, and I'm going to brown the rabbit real nice. After I get the rabbit browned, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my seasonings in, my onions and bell peppers and uh, garlic. Um, I'm going to bring it up to heat a little bit, get that to get all happy, happy. And I'm going to put in my Rotel uh, tomatoes and my tiger sauce. And last, I will add my uh, four cups of red wine and garlic to taste along with my seasoning. So I'll be back in a little while. We're going to start browning on this rabbit. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit. One other thing I forgot to mention, uh, my cream of mushroom uh, that I use in there and also the olive oil. There's the olive oil and there's our cream of mushroom. So what we've done is we've taken the, the four bell peppers, it was, I believe it's five on these, not four, um, and the celery, maybe a cup, a cup of celery. We've got that all mixed, that's all in this bowl right here that I've chopped earlier that's fresh garlic and bell pepper uh, I'm sorry fresh bell pepper onions and celery so and there's the bunny rabbit now get back up brown and I'll get back on okay we got the pot lit and that's what the pot looks like it's a round bottom we put some olive oil in the bottom of the pot not a lot just enough to get the pot good and kind of seasoned over I'm gonna come back over here and now I've got my rabbit prepared seasoned and I've got Louisiana seasonings on it, as you can see. So we still have all our ingredients that we're working on. We haven't put on yet. We have our garlic. We have our bell peppers, onions, celery, and whatnot. So now we're going to start the browning process. We'll get that going, and uh, we'll get back with you guys. Stand by. Okay, we got our rabbit in the pot. Uh, this is just uh, about a, maybe almost half of it. I want to brown it a little at a time so I have room. And once we finish browning, then we'll put it all back in and uh, put all our seasonings and whatnot. But that's what it looks like going in the pot. Now I'm fixing to stir it up and turn a little bit, and uh, we'll come back at it, right? So, okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I've been browning this a few pieces at a time. And as you can see, it's got a nice brown color to it. And I'm in the process of browning this last little batch right here. You can see this is about how much I've been putting in it. You flip it. And that's what it looks like when you're browning. Just put a little bit of olive oil in there. And uh, let that brown. It don't take long. So there we go. Looking, uh, we're looking pretty good. And in a little while we're going to put our seasonings in. And we're going to... Mix all of our stuff together, get it happy, happy, and then we'll start uh, cooking our rabbit on a nice slow cook for about three and a half hours. All right. 
Okay, we finished finish browning all of our rabbits. Now we're going to start putting our seasonings in. We're going to start with the onions. Come over here. I'm going to stir all this up. Turn that fire up a little bit and we're going to let that cook for about maybe three and a half hours and we'll come back and check it out. There we go. Okay, it's been uh, about three hours. Look at that. We got that white bean looking pretty good. We're gonna give them a little stir. Mm, it's been really good. And that's about done. Let that cook a little bit more. And we'll cover that up. And Mama got the rice going. Mm -mm, that rice looking good. We're going back outside again. Got a little smoke coming out that pot. Mm -mm. Boy, it's looking good. Look at that rabbit. Isn't that pretty that is? Boy, look at that. Fall off the bone. really good <laughs> I 
Really good. That looks good. We're going to shut that off in a few minutes, and when the people get here, we're going to start eating. Mmm!